One Word is a production of BFAC On Air. Welcome back, everyone, to One Word. One Word. One Word. One Word. One word. <laughs> I I am Dominic. I'm Jenna. I'm Rosie. I'm Harmon. And Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Year. <laughs> Such a great episode. Such a great episode. So good. It oh, it uh, 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 lots of fun in this episode, but uh, also you look really a nice bit. today. <laughs> As opposed to how I look all the other no, days. No, no, no. Every other day, but I just realized I didn't. I haven't actually looked at you today. And I just we just did a forty-five minute episode. <laughs> One hour later. I know. And yeah. I just looked at like your color combination and your collar and stuff. I was like, oh, you look really nice. Oh, great! It's, it's a thanks. spiffy co- yeah. color combo. I just didn't say anything. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. one of those double-edged swords. Like, I'm uh, sorry. this smells like you. <laughs> All right. Do you know what what that made me think of too? Was right. like the um the song "Smells Like Teen Spirit." <gasps> yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. Right. That's a good one. Which is yeah. both the nostalgic song, also just the whole phrasing of that, like "Smells Like Teen Spirit." It even though like the song and yeah. that are different, it's just like that phrase is nostalgia. You yeah. know, it's like smells yeah. like anyway. Yeah. So we we had we did talk about music. I'm not taking your thunder. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're but good. but we we mentioned in the in the episode a particular song. Yes, yes we did. That n- I didn't know what song that was at the time and you right. said we'll listen to it. And, and I played it and and, it and we're not going to say the name of the song. We'll let it cord. happen there. But they didn't find it nostalgic no, in any I hate way. It. But I she just played it for me in between this break here and I totally get nostalgic from Why? it. Why? Does it have to do with like childbirth or something? Well, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know this. I have never gone through childbirth oh. myself. <laughs> um, my I thought wife you were going to connect it to like the birth of your son or no, something. No. I, I feel this. I feel like a child running around in a field and there's something about the the, the <laughs> carefree playfulness of the notes at the beginning as it's starting that just makes me feel like I'm skipping through a field and it just I found myself breathing differently oh, I'm shaking my head their heads it makes head. me want to gouge my eyes out <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it's the one where they talk like that about it listeners, okay? <laughs> no I'm glad that it brings about nostalgia feelings yeah, for you yeah, it's it good for you it does <laughs> That, that's very interesting, though, because it definitely does not make me feel okay. that way. Like, I feel nostalgic for it, but I don't like it. Yeah. Yeah. Great. If that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. But well, we did talk about a lot of music we that we yeah. all feel, well, some of us feel nostalgic yeah. for and bring back memories of younger days. I think I felt the least nostalgic with. Yeah, you lost you did, the game. Which I is did. why it was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> you I lost. lost the nostalgia game, everybody. <laughs> which is why it's interesting to me that that you that that was the song where you're like ah that was just very that was interesting yeah i wasn't expecting that you Sorry. threw me for a loop sir i'm a loop thrower <laughs> <laughs> i like to throw those loops out in there yeah you do we also <laughs> talked about uh some of the smells yeah that uh bring about nostalgia because there's mm-hmm. definitely like all a lot of your senses you know bring mm-hmm. about that so. yeah. yeah it's true we also inexplicably talked about Disney a lot. Yeah, we did. We did. We did. Yeah, it just came up so much. Well, I, I don't find that odd oh, that okay. when doing an episode about nostalgia. No, oh, okay. you're right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're right. I, I feel like Disney has ingrained itself in so many generations of people's families and lives yeah. that there is there are inexplicably emotions and feelings that can come up that will relate to Disney yeah. when talking about something like this. If I, can I real quick, if, okay, if I said name the one, pick one Disney movie that is like nostalgic for you, what would you pick? Little Mermaid. Really? Toy Story. Oh. Mm, yeah. Does Star Wars count? Well, it is Disney. It is Disney. No. <laughs> it is Disney. <laughs> Disney. I rolled my eyes at you a little bit. <laughs> um, I remember watching Cinderella a lot. Okay. With, uh, my little sister. So, yeah. Can I guess yours? Yeah. Is it Frozen with Hans? 
It is not, but you know how I feel about Hans. <laughs> <laughs> you know that I love that man and that I think he was wrongly like, I think there was good in him. Uh, he no, my, just misunderstood. he was misunderstood. He had, I got a lot to say about it. Yes. Um, no, mine is um, Robin Hood. Oh, yeah. Oh, like the one with the that animals. Is, that, yeah. is a, oh, that is a good. really a good, great, good under, right? yeah, yeah, undervalued one. Yeah. I think so it gets ignored. Well, my friends. I don't think we should talk on any longer. Without further ado, I just have one word for you. Nostalgia. I just thought it was such a weird question. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, we're sorry. Do you... <laughs> You just started recording. You could definitely cut this out. No, it's such I want a weird you to question. Go with this. Do your hands ever tingle when you pee? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't say I've had the pleasure. No. No. no? no I've never, never wow. heard of that. Does it bring you nostalgic memories? It's like it's like such an interesting kind of cool feeling, and I'm just like, is this an okay feeling? <laughs> like maybe something's wrong, but it's like. Oh. <laughs> I, I, okay. I'm i more questioning uh, <laughs> not the feeling, mm -hmm. but the what said you should ask that yeah. question <laughs> of others. I know. I don't know. You pressed record and I just thought, <laughs> tingles. <laughs> tingles. P, do your hands tingle. <laughs> that is great. I love that for you. Uh, Wait, so, do, do yours? Yes, oh, okay. not all the time. Not all the time. You, you should look that up. I should. should. Okay. Maybe it's like a superpower. <laughs> <laughs> if my if this makes the recording and my mom hears this, she's gonna be like, "What are you doing? What What are you doing?" <laughs> Jennifer oh. Denise Carpenter. Okay. So sorry. We can start again. Go. <laughs> Oh, we're just starting with the definition. <laughs> yeah, wow. Wait, isn't that you, right? That's me. <laughs> yep, that's me. Ooh, sweet fancy Moses. We got this, mm -hmm. y'all. Yeah. Nostalgia is a sentimental longing or wistful affection mm -hmm. for the past. So um, typically for a period of place with happy personal associations. Typically. Yeah, typically. Mm -hmm. That is... I, I'm I'm glad you said typically on Thank that you. because I I did some research mm -hmm. with its roots and you did too I did too yeah I want to <laughs> hold on uh, I'm I'm not like stealing your ideas but okay, what no. did you say first I want to hear no no you can steal my okay. ideas <laughs> uh, I I Harmon you were just so precious to me I didn't want you to know that like you're steal so steal precious the to me. Um, uh, one that I saw was that it used to be considered like a neurological illness. Uh, yeah. Nostalgia? Like, a, like an mm -hmm. excessive yep. longing oh, for yeah. one's like was homeland. Was it Swiss I physician? Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the, in the 1600s. Yeah, in yep. the 60. I sorry, I, I don't mean to interrupt again, too. But um, in the 1600s, they considered it like demonic possession. <gasps> yeah. So there was a Swiss physician. They kind of considered everything demonic possession. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Uh, his name was Johannes. Johannes Is that Brahms. right? Nice. Guten Tag. In 1688. <laughs> Sorry. I don't think that's him. Uh -oh. So he, he came up with the name. It was a Greek compound consisting of nostos. Nos, nostos, yeah. Which, is, which means return. And algos, which is pain. Oh, so like return, return pain. pain, and so he con he conceptualized nostalgia as a neurological disease mm. characterized by adverse psychological and physiological symptoms, including persistent thinking of home, anxiety, irregular heartbeat, anorexia, and insomnia. It was displayed in many Swiss mercenaries who went on expeditions to foreign shores. So imagine a different kind of world than we do in our interconnected world. Imagine these mercenaries that are going away constantly, long periods of time, 
and those feel that the prolonged feelings of uh, nostalgia at well, them causing I, them harm. I think it's in causing them harm. Yeah, I think that's interesting too because <laughs> this is very much an assumption. But like Sw- Switzerland, yes, is this is an assumption. It's a very beautiful place, it right? Is, yeah, you got so like your have you been to Switzerland? Thing. I've not been, but I've seen movies. <laughs> seen pictures? I've seen pictures. Yeah. yeah. I've had their cheese. I like their cheese. cheese. That's true. That's true. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> but I imagine like I don't Switzerland know. It, is... It kind of leaves me a little empty. <laughs> <laughs> because of the holes. Because of the holes. <laughs> um, <laughs> Switzerland is so beautiful. And I imagine if you're a mercenary and you're going to these other places, if you go somewhere that doesn't fit that picture of like obviously home, but also like like this beautiful area yeah. that'd be like, man, my mom um, was raised in California where mm-hmm. like, mm. you know, you can like see the beach, but then also see the mountains. You yeah. can go from the beach to the mountains in one day and experience these different things. And then she met my dad and moved to Chicago. <laughs> 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 like didn't even go back see, to California. Yeah. They like yeah. met in Germany, well, came back to Chicago. You can see the lake. And turn and see big buildings. And let me tell you, that does not do it for my mother. (laughs) And so she often will talk about like, oh, I just miss like the mountains. So that just, that makes sense to me when you're talking about like how the Swiss would experience that like nostalgia. Yeah. And he also talks about like uh, the the physical, like, uh, like effects of that, where it's like, uh, like you, you can you can feel it like it's a palpable mm-hmm. feeling like I and I, I like I get that you know like mm-hmm. it's it's uh like when I feel that like nostalgia for like I don't know being a little kid again said the 17 year old yeah. but, <laughs> <laughs> no I don't think there's an age to it no, no. I don't think so no. either yeah. But yeah. like for that feeling, it's, it almost feels like your like stomach kind of drops, exactly. not like it's in like, a bad way. It's like right here, yeah. like in my chest. Yeah. So so when you feel it, what? What do you feel? You, you're saying your stomach drops. Yeah, like my stomach drops, and then it's like, I, it's like I'm there again. Whatever yeah. moment I'm feeling, and I'm okay. like, you're I just there. I miss it, but I'm like happy that I experienced exactly. it. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. It's such a weird feeling, it's isn't so it? So weird. So what? What? What are you? Expe- like what times would you feel that nostalgia? What? What's going on? Or typically holidays. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. like. Um, I celebrate Christmas. So like Christmas time, mm-hmm. we all get together. We're having yeah. fun. We just finished Christmas. We, we just, just finished yeah. Christmas a yeah. few months ago. And we've entered a new year. Yes. And that was another one, New Year's, because yeah. you're like reflecting on the year. And then usually you're like, wow, time goes fast. Mm-hmm. So you're sort of like, well, now you have pressures in the next year and you're stressed and stress yeah. heightens the amount of nostalgia you feel. Yes. So okay. It's, yeah. It's a heavy time. Yeah, and and New Year's that 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 you know I, I read something that said like New Year's the nostalgia is kind of this bridge for you going from one year to the next while you're remembering on the fondness of what there was and you're building new memories in the coming year you you hope and want them to be that which you've experienced that's that nice were good it. things yeah. Yeah. in the previous year. Mm-hmm. And so that's why we get nostalgic. It's kind of like this push and desire to to go about more of those good things that happened in the previous year, mm. which is an interesting way to think about it. Mm-hmm. I've never been a New Year's guy myself. Just like... Like in what way? Like thinking about New Year's? No, I never entered a new year. You never entered one? (laughs) You've always (laughs) been the same year. We have a person here who does not age. Dominic isn't something years old. He just goes by like days. No, I just never... (laughs) I I never really liked him. I never felt... I don't know. Perhaps part of it is just me and my expectation of myself. And I'm like, well, I didn't... Did I do anything that great last year? Yeah. Like, oh, I guess not. <laughs> Maybe this year will be better. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I that's kind of yeah. where I come yeah. from. I, I feel know. this is a little off topic, but uh, I feel like um, our our New Year's here is kind of just like. Eh. Like it's okay. Like we celebrate New Year's, like of course, but like we don't have any like big traditions. Like you know, I think it's in. I don't know, Spain maybe that like they eat yeah. all the grapes and like they have all these like different traditions and here in America it's kind of like 
There's a clock. Champagne and a big old clock. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then the big old there's a ball. Clock. There's a ball. There's, there's a ball. ball, there's, the ball there's, a, there's a huge ball. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like we don't have like big traditions. Does yeah. your family have Maybe like any traditions? Maybe it's just like a family thing too for me. Uh, mm-hmm. Not really. Like we usually like see some family friends and like eat snacks and kind of just like hang around yeah. and wait for midnight. You know? We, um, mm-hmm. so we like. We pray in the new year every year. So that's like kind of a big tradition that we have in our family. But I also remember like we would go and, you know, you get together with people and all this stuff. And like my, no matter where we were, my parents would call us like as yeah. midnight was happening and we'd yeah. like pray in the new year together, like oh, talk about it. So that was so always nice. right. So yeah. Nice. And then I also remember growing up because I watched all these old movies that like, mm-hmm. like movies really harp on new year's right where it's like you kiss on new year's or you have like you meet up with you know like all these just really high ideas the big transformation happens at new year's when harry met sally even it's not as old as some of them right and so i remember growing up i was like oh man when i get older i'm gonna like hang out with people we're gonna dress up it's gonna be magical it was not ever magical. <laughs> <laughs> but like the sequin dresses. Yeah. yeah. Like, I remember the yeah. first party I went to, it was like with this youth group. And I was like, um, I got dressed up and I went and I was like, this is actually kind of boring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's just like awkwardly standing there talking to each other. And I think somebody was playing like Wii bowling in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> like that. I was like, oh. That's, that's okay. the best way to bring in the new year. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. And now like, do you stay up? I We're talking about New Year's. I know New Year's <laughs> <laughs> past but apparently we're talking about new year's now yeah do you stay up till midnight every year or do you are do you sometimes just go to bed when i can <laughs> I, know, right? I, I i'm not going to confirm or deny the photos that have been taken of me <laughs> asleep on the couch when, <laughs> 30 minutes before new year <laughs> that's I stay funny up. you stay up yeah, i usually, usually like past two yeah, yeah usually i i usually go to like two o'clock and yeah. then i'm like that I'm out. Yes. <laughs> you know, I, I, and, and you hopefully will have, as you get older, that nostalgic feeling about your New Year's and not be like me <laughs> and feel uh, like a failure on Just New a Year's. Tired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Now that we're talking about it, I think I do have nostalgic feelings about New Year's. At first, I was like, meh, but I'm like, oh, we get um, yeah, like sparkling apple juice. Like the way you're talking about and- <laughs> Like your face. Right? It's oh, like cool. you're kind of light up, you're That's smiling, like, oh. you know, you're thinking back. So let's transition then to some of the positive. We can go back to nostalgia being a, a disorder if we want to later. But uh, some of the positive things, because we we think, I think, most of society around here would think that nostalgia has positive connotations or emotions in relationship to it. And it's about remembering autobiographical events, okay? So I read something that said nostalgia, it, 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 it is multiple things, first of all. So it is emotional and personal significance and chronological remoteness, okay? So it's got, it's got something personal about ourselves, but a, it is not chronologically happening now. It is remote in our past is when that is happening. And in our brain, it is, it's a cooperation of two different sections of our brain, which is why we have, and we'll talk about some of this in a little bit as well, I hope, but it's our brain working together. That's why it's such a strong emotion that we have from it. It is a cooperation of our memory and our reward system. So our reward system and our memory are triggering at the same time and we're remembering this thing and we're getting a reward out of it. It's like in um, Inside Out when Inside out. they like, when they, right? Where, you, where they like push the button at like the same time. Is that what you're talking about? No. Well, I guess that too, but um, I was thinking of when um, Riley is like mm-hmm. remembering back to um, when they're skating on the pond yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and how like there's yeah, the yeah, one yeah. side of it where it was like happy, but that oh, was actually triggered yeah. by a sad emotion. By the, yeah. oh. It was like both things were a part of it type thing. And it's like she got this happiness out of it. But then also it was like 
um, she learned something about yeah. the, like their family coming together yeah. and things like that. I, I totally forgot about that. Right? So would it surprise you if I told you that now, today, nostalgia is thought of as a psychologically adaptive function? It is something, and, and people actually, uh, doctors will use things that trigger nostalgia to help fight some diseases or to help propel people forward in life. So it's nostalgic experiences can decrease loneliness, depression, and constant thoughts of death. Nostalgia can increase self-esteem, self-positivity, and a sense of social connectedness in young people. Not old people. No, no. but findings show that in older adults who participate in this, they have a desire to live. So in older adults, it, it fosters a bit of self-worth and a desire to live. And there is something called reminiscence therapy. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that is where you... In your therapy, you reminisce about things that may give you nostalgic feelings. Many of the things they do trigger nostalgia. And what they say that it can do is it can silence some of the, the voices that you might feel or hear or the, the shadows that lurk with you sometimes. And it provides everyday well-being to trigger some of those nostalgic feelings. Don't they do that sometimes with like dementia patients too? Like they'll play music for yeah. them and then they'll get like nostalgia. Let's, do you want to, do you want to go into music? Yeah, I'd love to sure. go into music. Let's. Yeah. <laughs> this felt like he was going to fight. He's like, let, do you want to go? Let's, you want to, you want to, you want to start this? <laughs> let, let's start this. Let's start the, <laughs> let's, let's go with the music. So. We will always go into music. Always. Yeah. And I think it's, I think it's more than music though. Let's. So any of those times you talked about earlier that you felt those nostalgic feelings, mm -hmm. what might a trigger have been? Just say one word. A that, smell. A smell. Okay, what else? Conversation. Conversation, yes. Anything else? I think like photos for me. Photos, oh. visual stimulization, yeah. Mm -hmm. Music. 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 Okay. I, I, yeah. <laughs> so there's a lot of these things that cross over one another. And again, it's the brain cooperating with different cortexes that really make this strong, vibrant feeling and can really trigger it. Because what the brain does is it will, it'll sew a little knot, let's say, between this emotional memory and this piece of music or this smell, uh, which is part of the reason why, for example, Walt Disney World will <laughs> pump scents out into Main Street. Sure. So as you're going in, the vents will pump smells to bring about an old world nostalgic kind of feeling as you're walking there to make you happier. Because our brain will take a, imagine a piece of thread between your, uh, what, you know, we talked about earlier, our history, our past, that event in our past, right? And let's take it and let's bring it over and <laughs> stab it right through that piece of music. <laughs> Damn it. And then right back over here and boom, and tie a knot around it. And now those two things are linked in our brain. And things that are linked in our brain across our cortexes, they say, are memories which are more likely to resonate and be remembered over time because sometimes we for, we are we don't we can't we don't keep all of our memories in us but those which are linked across the brain like a core memory yeah they <laughs> really this is that. really We're just like this out. is inside yeah. out yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we got multiple Disney mentions in here. <laughs> Disney World, if you'd like to sponsor our podcast, no, they're gonna call us and be like, "Y'all yeah, need call to me, stop," please. and also you owe us. We're gonna sue you. <laughs> so that's part of why music is like that, or a scent is like that. The other thing that people say is you can actually create those memories for yourself. For example. Say you're reading a book. You're reading a book. 
you know the style of book that it is. Rousey had her book yeah. out. Mm-hmm. She did. <laughs> How was that book, Rousey? It was fabulous. Yeah, it would have been better if you had lit a candle that might go along with the style of the book. Mm. Let's say a romance novel, a candle with that has a roses scent or something too. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, and you put on some subtle music behind like it. Like some smooth jazz. That it, well, yeah, if that's the style of your book, right? Now what you're doing is you're taking what your, what your nose is receiving, what your ears are receiving, mm-hmm. what your eyes are receiving, and you're really creating an experience that your brain is going to hold on to and you're going to remember more likely. Sure. Have you ever, I mean, you probably not, but have you ever heard music <laughs> that was of a two decades before it, when you were in college? Or? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Actually, you do? Two decades ago? Two decades ago. <laughs> When I was negative three years old. <laughs> um, but like, I feel like there's a lot of music from like being a little kid in like elementary school that okay, I remember great. like yeah. uh, my parents would like put on and listen to. And then like I was just listening. I think it was um, John Mayer. Uh, yeah, I love John Mayer. He's a great artist. And he I could just sponsor us as well. <laughs> and uh, I found one of his albums. I'm like, wow, this is this is really good. I feel like I've like I've heard this before. Like it really makes me like kind of feel something. And my mom was like, yeah, we used to play that all the time for you when you were like a baby. And I was Aww. like, oh, that's it's so just that's like a cool. cool connection. Not even yeah. a conscious connection. Not even like a yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. So, that's great. Yeah. I just feel like that it like reminds me of like I don't know being a little kid and like mom's car and yeah driving around so have you ha- anyone else felt that that kind of oh yeah feeling like from well, a time ago especially you know when you you talk about like decades ago yeah. and hearing songs from you know your childhood or mm-hmm. from the 80s or 90s and it does bring you back to like you just think about like who you were around when you heard that song or um, certain songs will remind me of uh, like Boys to Men was yeah. huge when I was in like junior high. Yeah. And my brother was. Okay. You mentioned other people now. Yeah. He was in a singing group. Oh. I don't know if they had a name. I don't really know. I bet I it was know. called the singing group. It might have been called the singing <laughs> group. Now. But him and these guys would go sing at like quinceañeras or like yeah. things like that. And um, for graduation, like we would sing Boys to Men. And so whenever I think about Boys to Men, I think about junior high and my brother singing. Yeah. And sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, Boys to Men, please. please. So what you're kind of talking Jimmy. about now. Cause, cause, <laughs> Love you, Jimmy. Love you. Because it can be based on personal experiences or cultural collective experiences like a time period like someone who was big disco and they would go out every (laughs) weekend discoing those 70s music comes out it reminds you of a collective time in our in our shared humanities history i have a question for you and times and things that happened yeah what did you go to your prom when you were in high school yes what was the theme for your prom have no clue Oh, okay, because the theme for I did not go to my prom, but the theme for our prom was my heart will go on. Titanic. See? Titanic. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I would, bet you when that came out, that was like everybody sixty five percent of prom <laughs> themes. <laughs> I, I don't even think that I can remember. Like, what was our homecoming like freshman year? Fresh- I didn't go freshman year. You didn't go? Oh, no. yeah. I don't think I did either. Yeah. Maybe that's why I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> why don't I remember this? I'm that's getting nostalgic about this dance I didn't it's, go to. Yeah. <laughs> and that just kind of reminds me like, um, like, because that was com- right coming right out of COVID. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, yeah. And I like, I do, I think I have like even like a little bit of nostalgia from like, as weird as it sounds, just like kind of being at home during that period. Mm-hmm. I think it was just like such a, I don't want to get into this too much, but like, I think it was just such like a, a break from the routine, like so unusual yes. that it like really sticks in your mind. And I think that kind of creates a bit of nostalgia with it. It's like certain feelings with certain seasons too. Like summer, I I don't know how to describe it, but I had a certain feeling when I was like seven that I remember that I don't feel right now. You know mm. what I mean? Yeah. 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 I, I totally get that. No, I, I feel that like completely. Like I can't really describe it in like a way that would make sense to others, I think. <laughs> but yeah. like... It's just like, yeah, it feels, it feels different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and I, I agree with you too, when you're talking about just like the pandemic and things like that, where I feel like during it, 
I had way different feelings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But now looking back on it, part of me the other day was like, man, I miss that schedule we had. (laughs) (laughs) You know, I miss like being able to take a break after noon or whatever it was. Or I I miss like just being cozy in Mm -hmm. my house. Um, So it's interesting when you're like, you've gone through something that's really hard and difficult. But then looking back on it, you're like, oh, these are, there were some like cool, I don't know, cool, but like, positive obviously things that happen from it that are that do bring you kind of like nostalgic feelings i think that goes to part of the reasons they use nostalgia Mm -hmm. you know that might be what our body is doing to help us understand as we analyze it you know even through that terrible terrible time Mm -hmm. there was something that we actually get that warm That's feeling what Riley about. understood. That's what Riley exactly. got. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry, Disney. So, so Disney, don't quick. sue us, please. please, please. <laughs> so we talk about the reward system in the brain and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, how do, what do we think about death as it relates to nostalgia? Like in regards to... Like, like if someone were to die, yeah. right? I think... A lot of times people can have nostalgic feelings oh, for sure. oh, yeah. after someone dies, right? Mm-hmm. I think, so, yeah. Uh, just uh, going off, uh, when I was doing some research, I saw the term like rose tinted glass come uh-huh. up a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, just like when you like think about something and you, you think like really only of the, the good things. And I think like when you think of someone who's like passed away, you know, you don't really remember like all the fights you had and like yeah. all the, all right. the bad things yeah. and all the arguments and all that. But like, you just remember like, man, I really miss the way that like they were just around and yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. That is a function of our body. The nostalgia is there. First of all, it is there for us to be able to celebrate and uh, grieve in the appropriate way but also to to give us some bit of joy because as as most of the time as we discussed it, most of the time it's it's more about joyousness and a fond memory doesn't always have to be but most of the time it is and that helps us persevere through that terrible experience were you about to say something? Oh, no. Oh. She was just agreeing with me. <laughs> okay. It was just a really loud, loud <laughs> nod shake. <laughs> <laughs> shake. <laughs> and nod. Um, I, so it's interesting you talk about, you know, we, we say like m- mostly positive. Mostly. Um, because I was reading about um, something called nostalgic depression. Oh, yeah. Which is not, it's not anything that's like medically diagnosable but people kind of refer to it sometimes where it's where it's this thought that the times in your past that were happy are happier than like what you're going through now Mm. and so that kind of like brings you to this dark place because you're like man i wish it were more like that or that and so like if you know if you just kind of think about think on that negativity of it, or you think, you know, if you're not able to get out of that, that can kind of send you into a depression. So, um, there's been people who have really struggled with like that nostalgic depression because they're not seeing anything necessarily as positive in what's going on in their lives right now, but there was more of it in their past. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's really interesting. It, it, It is. Well, it is really interesting how the same thing, if we stop and think as human beings on our journey together and we think, oh, yeah, well, nostalgia, it's great. It's happy. It's joy. And we don't stop to think, well, not everyone is affected by everything exactly the same. I think it's important to note that so that we can say, hey, let's take whatever this feeling does to me might not necessarily be the same for every single person that we're standing next to here. Right. And they were saying, too, that it it like it kind of gets you in this cycle where you just yeah. can't get out of that yeah. cycle. And, and you keep thinking of like 
Yeah. All the good times. And that you, we talked about death and they they were saying too, that that can trigger like the death of somebody or even a lot of people around you. you're stuck in those. And you're stuck in that and you kind of get into this loneliness. I would be curious if, if there was a study, I looked up some studies, there was no study comparing that, but the, the studies I looked up, they, they did things that trigger nostalgia in most people. Uh, and they were in an MRI and they were looking at the brain and what was lighting up where. It would be an interesting study to see if they did the same thing on two people, one person who has identified in the way Jenna's talking about and another person who identifies with more joyous, festive kind of Ooh. feelings of, and where their brain lights up. Yeah. Does yeah. that make sense? Mm-hmm. It's a study. Someone do that study. Okay. Do that. You, can, <laughs> you can cite one word as the stimuli. For yeah. <laughs> Uh, because, I think it. Oh, sorry, yeah, go, go ahead. no, go ahead. No, I was going to say I, I think it's interest. It would be interesting too to see, um, like what would happen or what would change yeah. if suddenly you brought more people into yeah. those people's lives. You know, like yeah, my parents are a part of um a visitation committee. So like, if people are sick or whatever, well, they just call mm-hmm. people anyway. They're always talking to people, <laughs> and so you know, is she, call, is she calling into this? Episode? She might be. You know what? If she could. My mother probably we don't would. Even have a phone in here. I know. My mom definitely. She says hi, by the way. Um, but like they, you know, they're always like calling or checking on people and things. And I think we take that for granted. But even just like that little personal touch of like somebody thought to call me can, yeah, you know, like can help somebody and can even like you know if if you're going through something and you're kind of missing if you are in a nostalgic type depression having those conversations with other people and having people check on you really could like yeah bring another sense of nostalgia Absolutely. out too and can just kind of I wonder if if those people can I- experience both types of nostalgia Oh yeah you know yeah. what I mean Yeah very interesting Yeah All right Okay. Can we go back to music for a second? Music. We kind of did music and went away from music. There. There's a quote and it goes like this. Music. <laughs> <laughs> well, whoever said that must be really smart. <laughs> it's from a movie. Like it's like, the, <laughs> like it's a specific. And every time Dominic has said music in my head. That's the, what you hear. The head <laughs> me goes music. How about I just go? And I don't music. know what it's from. <laughs> I don't know what it's from. It's either. driving me crazy. I know what you're talking about though. Do you? That's why I did it. Yes. Yeah. yeah I don't. I don't know what that is. And <laughs> if you know, send us an email. Man, it's driving me crazy. <laughs> so I bet it's a Disney movie. <laughs> it's Inside Out. <laughs> yeah. Well, first of all, knowing you, it is. I know. Sure. <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> so I have got a quiz. Uh, it's it is not necessarily a quiz, oh, but it's a list. It's a top yeah. list. Okay? I'm nostalgic for quizzes. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I I looked for quizzes. I couldn't find any kind of quiz that was no. kind of like not nost- good ones. It's kind of no. hard to yeah. like. Yeah. yeah, it was all like 1970s nostalgia. Uh, no offense, <laughs> quizzes. No offense, quizzes. It just you weren't up to par. <laughs> um, this is kind of like iconic iconic songs that make you feel nostalgic. <gasps> Oh my gosh, wait. Yes. I know what it's from. What is it? Little Mermaid. <gasps> yes! Hey. Okay, okay. I don't think that's Disney. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm, I apologize. I'm I, focused now. <laughs> I am very curious, and this is the reason I have this here, because on this, on this list, I don't agree with a lot of them. Ooh. But okay. as, as our listeners should know, the concept for this podcast is the intergenerational element to it. So I am curious if perhaps Jenna and I may find nostalgia in one set and you two find nostalgia in something else. I'm curious where that sure. line is. This is our own scientific study today. Okay, so I have one, and it is Nelly, Just a <laughs> Dream. <laughs> oh, Sorry. I don't know. <laughs> Who here finds that nostalgic? I do. Okay. I don't. Okay. I, I, you I, don't? I don't, know. I don't know. It's only just a dream. Yeah. I was thinking about her. We can't thinking, sing anymore sorry. and edit. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I know. I know. It's, 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 this out, is going to be out. really hard. Justin Bieber, baby? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Just, yes. Yeah. Not, not like good nostalgia. It is good. <laughs> what? Okay. You? Yes. No? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I need to keep a score. Okay. 
Scott, Scott, am I going to lose? <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. because I'm less nostalgic? I think you are, actually. Uh, how about Kesha TikTok? Uh, so Kesha TikTok, anyone? Yeah. Okay. Nope. Not me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay. do. <laughs> that's, on, that's on my list. That's yeah. on your list. Oh. Taylor Swift, You Belong With Me. Oh, my gosh. I was obsessed with that song. Were you? Do you yeah. feel nostalgia from it? Um, is it okay? I have a clarification question because mm -hmm. like it, you mentioned all of those songs and it makes me want to sing them, yeah. but is that nostalgic for me or am I just like, well, oh I would gosh, say, do you get, do you get that? Like what we described earlier in the episode, like the feelings where you're, maybe your stomach dropped out if it was Rozzy or you just find yourself all of a sudden you're like a smile to your face and you okay. remember a simpler time. Well, like and, Kesha's TikTok reminds me yeah. of, uh, like the fifth grade dance. Right. Yes. There you yeah. Go. Yeah. That is nostalgic. <laughs> so I would say no to TikTok, but yes to all the other ones. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Great. Beyonce, single ladies. Homecoming this year. Okay. There we go. <laughs> uh, the Beatles yesterday. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. 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 I get that. Right. Yeah. This, uh, this one specifically says that yesterday showcases the emotion that comes after being left by someone dear to you. It makes you contemplate the could have beens in life, making you wonder what if things didn't turn out the way that they did. Mm. David Bowie, Heroes. I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't know, I don't that, know that, that song. Okay. Much, no. Yeah. Otis Redding, sitting on the dock of the bay. I get, I get nostalgic with that one. That's a man. That's a good one. Oh, I think so. with that one for me, it's kind of just this feeling of like summer days yeah. and like just, relaxing. just that beat is just kind of like kind of yeah. free a little bit. That's nice. kind of how I am. With do, that. Do, 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 do. Beach Boys, Caroline, no. I don't know that one. I don't know, do that, I one. know I that, one. that one. No, I, I like the beach. Uh, yeah, yeah, but Kokomo but does it for me. Oh, yeah, I yeah, yeah, I'm nostalgic I can with that, that one. For sure. Um, this is so hard. I want to sing so yeah. bad. How about the cranberries? <gasps> lingered. Which one? Uh, lingered? This one has "Ode to My Family." Oh, they're wrong. It should be I, lingered. It should be lingered. Linger. 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 Yeah, that one's lingered. Yeah. Hotel California. Uh, Eagles. Ooh, I yes. like the song. Living I, I don't feel uh, super nostalgic towards. It. Oh, okay, not nostalgic. Sorry. We were like, um, well, okay, sorry. Quick story oh, time. Yeah. We were like re-renovating my great grandma's old house, like my mom, her boyfriend, and then like my grandpa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My grandpa played like rock radio, mm -hmm. and that song was always on. So that reminds me of like summer, like doing yard work, and you feel uh, a little, yeah. 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 See, yeah. isn't that a great feeling? How about Ray Charles, Georgia on my mind? Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a good not, one. Not for Harmon. <laughs> no, not me as much. <laughs> <laughs> Janis Joplin, Peace of My Heart. No. 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 Okay. I, I'm traumatized a little bit by Janis Joplin mm. because of a song. This is going to sound ridiculous. Okay. But there is a game. I forget the name of the game it was on some game system. <laughs> <laughs> And one of the songs. There's a lot of those. There, there are. <laughs> and you know, you had to, it was like four. when those karaoke games were really popular. It was before. Yeah. Like, I was going to say just dance. That's not a karaoke <laughs> game. <laughs> but it was one of those, one That's of those karaoke a ones. Game. <laughs> and, and there was a Janice, Je me and Bobby McGee. <laughs> That was the song, me and Bobby yeah. McGee. I was traumatized because I was amazing at every other song except for beat me and Bobby oh. McGee. Aww. So Janis Joplin traumatized me a little bit. Here's the last one on my list that I'm going to mention to you. Ready okay. for it? Julie Andrews, The Lonely Goat Herd from oh. The Sound of Music. Oh, my God. I've actually never seen Sound uh, of Music. Oh. I think that one's on the list I because... I know that's oh. favorite, but... <laughs> <laughs> I know a teacher who desperately wants you to do that. Uh -huh. I do. I also Music know a teacher. <laughs> so I she, would she definitely put so a spin bad. on that. <laughs> I need you to tell me. It, um, maybe, it, these might be just for me, but these are like songs that I kind of remember. Oh, like, yeah. I made, I made a, a playlist with like oh a buddy of mine. Oh, my gosh. But like. Absolutely. <laughs> Rosie's Rosie like covering her face it. right now. Sure, yeah. Yeah. These Frankie you, you recognize them? I, okay, yeah. Okay. 
Now I have lonely goat hair going through my yeah. head. Well, I think I was going to say, I think that one's there because a lot of families show the sound of music to their kids and they yeah. watch it's, it it's as parents. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and you remember that time when you first saw, maybe maybe that's your first musical that you've ever seen. Like mm. you, you see it for the, and that you have that fond memory. Do you not like sound of music? Um, I don't know if I want the Rodgers and Hammerstein organization to uh, to come <laughs> to after come us. Uh, I'm gonna repossess the beef. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what were some of the songs on your I could, list? Uh, list a couple of mine. Uh, I had so these are kind of these are from when I was like uh, I think in elementary school that I just remembered hearing. Yeah, and added, but uh, "Hey Soul Sister" by Train. Oh yeah, "She Will Be Loved" by Maroon Five. Just the Way You Are by Bruno Mars. Mm. Haven't Met You Yet by Michael Bublé. I love me some Michael Bublé. I do His love His voice him. is so it's good. It's so good. Like, he's not just a Christmas guy. Like, it's so good. No. Yeah. I had he's a friend got... once. I was on the phone with my friend, and um, Michael Bublé, like, came on PBS or something. <laughs> and my friend goes, he's like, I can't talk to you anymore michael buble is on and he's song, his voice makes my heart melt like butter and then he hung up on me so oh, then he could go watch oh, michael buble. He was i was like okay <laughs> uh i have fireflies by owl city i hate that song you're not Ooh. i like i know a lot of people wow, who like deep. really like it but like i think it's it's kind of overrated it is i opinion. can't stand it it drives it's me crazy. I don't. I don't know why people are as crazy about it as they are. I but. know. Do you know this song? I, I don't think I do know that. Song. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it for this, you afterwards. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna listen yeah, to yeah. it. I'll I don't you. understand Maybe why people I'll love it, people. and they're just like, "Oh, fireflies," and I'm like, Ugh. I'm "Like, turn this off. Make it stop." So we talked about music. Let's talk about some smells music. and what they do to us. <laughs> So nostalgic smells. What are some of those, right? Gasoline. Mm -hmm. Gasoline. Do you have I a do smell? kind of like this, like the, the smell of gasoline. But you Nail get a nostalgic feeling. Nail, okay. Yeah. How about just I'm going to say something. Okay. And you tell me if, if you, you get anything. It? Okay. Okay. I'm going to close my eyes. The blend of cinnamon and pine. I'm oh, like the Christmas. Pine. I know. <laughs> <laughs> she starts gagging. <laughs> Allergies. <laughs> Gingerbread. Mm. Mm. Meh. Coconut. Ew. Um, it's, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. So, sorry, coconut. Suntan lotion. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, that's a real one for me. Yeah. Citrus. I love citrusy things. Yeah. I don't know if it makes me nostalgic, yeah. but I love it. Yeah. So a lot of times, some of the first ones make you nostalgic for the holidays. Yeah. That gingerbread, that cooking, right? Mm -hmm. Or what? let's talk about that. Imagine your own scent of cooking. Not yeah. yours, but that, that one thing, you, you walk into a house and you smell it. Oh, my grandma that's what, used to make that. Or, that's what yeah. they say about, like, if you're trying to sell your house, that you should bake cinnamon rolls in it because yeah. cinnamon has, like, this kind of, uh, like it, it, like to a lot of people, it makes you think of like home and like this is a place that you want to make a home. Mm. Yeah, well, and that goes back to the fact that our feelings are stored alongside with our memories, mm -hmm. and and you walk into that home and boom, mm -hmm. it it puts people right into mm -hmm. that. It's amazing. No more smells. That, no I mean, that was just. A, I, I, what does citrus a bring you to? What does citrus make you think of? Uh, so for me. Or whoever citrus, I, I I I feel like when I when I smell citrus, I, it's the the fresh scent of uh, squeezed orange juice that just comes out if you're like at the beach or at a you know what I mean at a on a vacation where I'm relaxed, mm. I'm chill. It's just like yeah, you get mm. the because you don't. You don't fresh squeeze orange juice at home. <laughs> like, right, yeah. You know what? I, yeah. like that's yeah. kind of like just that. I zested yeah. some oranges yeah. yesterday, and there really is something about like yeah. the, smell the smell of citrus. Like, mm -hmm. and, yeah. 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 One thing that really is like, does it for me is the smell of like makeup. Because oh, yeah. it reminds me of, because I did dance recitals when I was younger until I was like oh. 10. So it reminds me of my mom doing my makeup yeah. and then I'd oh. smell it. And then I'm like, every time oh. I do makeup, I'm like, oh, I used to do shows 
when I was young and they were at this place, you know, it was like kind of an old barn type thing that they built a stage and a backstage and it had a very unique scent to it. Yeah. Like it was like the mixture of like old fabric clothes and sawdust and like just all these rent. And anytime I get the slightest whiff of that kind of smell, it, it reminds me of that energy of uh, opening a show or moving into the theater oh, after rehearsals yeah. in a different place, that, yeah. that energy and excitement. That's, that's one that I feel. Have you ever had anybody um, like <laughs> smell something of yours or like have something be like, oh, it smells like you? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, my mom had like a scarf that always smelled like her. And yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I would just find it in the closet. Be like, that actually makes me so happy when people like take the time to say that to me. I don't know. <laughs> I always would get nervous about it. Uh, is it good or bad? I know. I was like, is it the B.O.? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yeah, it smells just like you. I'm like, Okay. <laughs> what would you categorize? I know. That I as? was like, like what? Is, yeah. What's it? What's it smell like? <laughs> I haven't showered in a couple. Does it smell like <laughs> citrus or does it smell like bo? Yeah. Which is it? <laughs> you know, right? Well, then, like, I I did ask somebody recently because they were. It was a KTT. And she was like, "Oh, this smells like you." I was like, "What? What does that smell like, though?" <laughs> And she's like, Please I think it's like me. the stuff in your hair, like cocoa butter lotion yeah, yeah, yeah. or something. It's like, okay, that, oh, that's I, okay. I'll accept yeah. that. That's okay. <laughs> so we spent today indulging ourselves in the intricate memories of our past, exploring why nostalgia feels like a comforting blanket <gasps> to our souls. <laughs> nostalgia. That whimsical time traveler of the mind offers us a unique pleasure most of the time. A delightful escapade into the echoes of our past. It's a testament to the human experience, reminding us of cherished moments and simpler times. But why does it feel so good for most? Reflecting on the past provides us with a sense of continuity and belonging, connecting us to the threads of our personal narrative. Holidays, in particular, become a festive playground for nostalgia. The twinkling lights, familiar scents, and joyous traditions stir the pot of memories, creating a rich concoction of emotions that make the season feel like a magical reunion with our own history. Science can tell us that nostalgia is more than just sentimentality. It's a com complex interplay of emotions and brain activity. Our neural pathways light up and with a quirky mix of pleasure and longing, as we revisit moments that shaped us. Even our senses play a crucial role. A whiff of a familiar scent, a taste of a childhood treat, the sound of a piece of music can transport us back in time. As we enter the new year, nostalgia takes on a special significance. It becomes the bridge between the chapters of our lives, allowing us to carry forward the lessons and joys of the past into the unchartered territories of the future. In this journey, let us not forget those who nostalgia does not affect in quite the same festive and joyous way. Let us have empathy for those who may not experience those emotions in quite the same way. So, in this new year, let us raise a glass to nostalgia. A timeless companion on our journey through the lexicon of life. Ooh. <laughs> May your reflections be festive, your memories be vivid, and your connections to the past be as enduring as the words we explore on one. Until next time, 
Stay curious and nostalgic. Cheers to a new year. Thank you all for joining us. <laughs> I am Dominic. I'm Jenna. I'm Rosie. I'm Matthew. And you have been listening to One Word. One Word. <laughs> One Word. <laughs> One Word. <laughs> Join us next month. Did that make you nostalgic for something? When our <laughs> word is harmony. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. <laughs> See you next time. One Word is a production of BFAC On Air.